Hi everybody, this is Mr. Bling Bling, Professor Bling Bling back again. And this is my Bling Bling glass with delicious flavors of fruit punch. So be sure to get you one. What I want to talk about today is that when I was with my homeboys, you know I grew up with my homeboys, Billy Boy, June June Rains, Elliot Fisher, James Elliot, and a bunch of others, Kevin Barton, Tai Chi Barton, and all of the rest of my homeboys, Craig Powell, and uh, Richard Baldwin. I just want to thank y'all for being my friends, man. It's uh, a decade later, and, and I hope you're doing good out there because I'm Professor Bling Bling now, and I come to tell my story. You know, my mind goes back and reminisce on the time that we had in Jones School. That was my first elementary school, y'all. Jones School had it going on. Uh, back in the day, we had the paddle. And I got about three paddles in my lifetime when I was a small boy. And uh, thank God that they, 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 it didn't damage me, but it straightened me out not to do it again. And uh, I, I learned my lesson. And uh, there were some great teachers back in the day that we admired to. And uh, we thank God for those teachers instilling in us the classification and the uh, the chastisement so they made us better men today I'm a better man because of strictness and I'm a better man because of the chastisement and the spankings so I thank God for the spankings because it steered me in the right way to go in my life I'm a senior citizen now, and uh, I'm enjoying the senior citizen life now. And uh, when I was in Jones School, you know, I, I, that's when my stardom and fame first started. They had me up on the stage in kindergarten, first grade, second grade, all through fifth grade. And uh, I want to thank God for all those memories of the young teeny bopper years, I tell you, we was cute and handsome. Little boys then, and the ladies uh, liked it us and the girls liked it us too. But one thing about it, my grandmama and granddaddy, they really, really were straight on our neatness. You better not come in God, grandma house, with a, a mud on your shoes, Grandma tested your behind down and get a brush and a bucket and she'll make you clean them Buster Brown shoes. Oh yes, she would. I cleaned my shoes a minute time. I didn't mean to step in the mud, but I accidentally stepped in the mud and when I got home, she said, boy, come here. Set your behind down and get that bucket and get the, that brush and clean them shoes and, I, and I'm and i going to expect them when you finish and I thank God for the, the cleansing that's why I'm a neat man today because of my grandmama she was strict I tried to go past my grandma one time <laughs> and uh, I had my, my shirt out of my pants y'all and my grandma caught me at the come here boy put that shirt in them pants and tie up them shoe strings I ain't gonna have you going out here looking like a fool or a tramp or a slouch. I didn't raise no slouches not that what grandma we always told me. I said, yes, ma'am. And I never forget the time I went out there in the snow, y'all. <laughs> I tell you, it was about three below zero. I was small, little teeny bopper then. I had my flexible fly sled. And I went down this hill. This hill uh, was covered with ice. I never get them good days 
went down that old hill, good God Almighty. I picked up speed through 25 miles an hour. And I went to turn that dog on sled, and that sled went up under that snow. I went up under snow, y'all. And stayed there about five or ten minutes. And when I came about that snow, good God about it, I was just as cold as a refrigerator freezer. Oh my God. And I say, Oh Lord, I'm going back home. So I went back to grandma's house and grandma was in the kitchen cooking lunch. And I tell you, my hand was so cold I began to cry. And my grandmother looked at me and said, Come here, son. And Grandma took my little teeny whip bopper hands and put them up under her armpits to warm my hands up. So I thank God for my grandma. That was a sight of caring. My grandmama really cared for us. I can really truthfully tell you that. And she said, boy, I'm a, I want you to be somebody in this lifetime now. I said, yes, ma'am. And then after grandma put my little hands up under her arm, she opened the stove and, 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 and said, sit here for a minute. And she turned that stove on all that warm. He came out the, the stove and, and then I began to unthaw. And then after I unthawed y'all, I went back out there on that slippery track. Oh, yes, I did. And I tell you, it was a lot of people riding that slippery track that day. Oh, yes, and we had a bunch of fun. Then we had this uh, this hill called the Kayak Hill, y'all. Good God Almighty, that thing was huge, just like a mountain. And we used to get together with our flexible fly sleds and go to the top. And we used to make our little ski jump. i never forget. <laughs> you see, when I was a child, we had a whole lot of fun. Even in the cardboard box, we used to take those cardboard box, get in them, and just roll and, and slide. And oh boy, we had a time out there. So I can't never tell you my childhood was born because it wasn't. Because I tell you, Grandma always looked out for uh, her grandchildren. And I miss her right today. I wish she would have lived so that she can see that her raising me was not in vain. Amen. Every time I think about her goodness and my grandfather goodness now. He, my grandfather was a world class athlete and I thank God uh, for him raising me because he taught me a lot about uh, racing now. He trained me. I never get time. He took me 10 miles out in the country just to train me and to show me how much strength I had in my body. And Grandpa get that marathon walk to going, and he left me, and I said, Grandpa, Grandpa, wait up, Grandpa. He said, come on, son, come on. And I got up there and got close, and then he went to marathon walking again and left me again, and I had to haul out again. So I thank God for those wonderful years when I was a little teeny papa. Now when I was a little teeny papa, y'all, <laughs> I was a cool, I was a cool little teeny papa. I had my, my apple hat on and tipped to the side, to the left, and I was the coolest thing walking the earth <laughs> as a little lad. And all the girls used to love to see me walk. He said, here come cool John Jones. John Jones, cool lady. He look at it. <laughs> And they'd be laughing at me and everything, you know. And their laughter, you know, was joy to see me coming down the street. Yes, they did. They laughed. Yes, they did. And so uh, a lot of them uh, used to really mimic me. And especially when I did uh, the dance called the robot. Yeah, I was the king robot, y'all. Uh, nobody could put me in that robot now because I put it on. I put it on them. So this is Professor Bling Bling again talking to you. And y'all have a good day. And enjoy your day now. Bye bye now.